If you're here, you're hopefully interested in learning more about Folio's Web Clipper. It's a completely customizable browser extension that lets you grab product information from any website, in any currency, or in any language, and bring it into your project in seconds. That includes text, images, PDFs, like installation documents and spec sheets, and even CAD files. Once you import those products into Folio, we keep your items saved in your personal library so you can search for and reuse those items for later. We even make it easy to export those items into presentations and spreadsheets, build mood boards, and look, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start by installing the Web Clipper. Here, we're on Folio's dashboard. On the bottom left corner, you can see the tab for the Web Clipper. We'll click and Folio will take us to the Web Clipper tutorial page. You can always come here if you ever want a refresher on the Web Clipper or have any questions. But for now, I'll show you the ropes. For now, we'll click Download Folio Web Clipper. Now that we have our Web Clipper, we can start moving items from the web into our project. I like to start by creating a punch list. If you don't know what a punch list is, you probably just call it something different. It's like a checklist for the room. I'll make a quick one so I can show you how I do it in Folio. Now, I generally know what items I want in my master kitchen, but I might not know what specific items I want. So what I'll create is a list of items I know I need to specify for later. I can do that here by clicking Quick Entry. We'll be working in my plumbing schedule. And because Folio knows that, it'll give us a list of items that are common to that schedule, like this faucet or this sink. But I can also add items that Folio doesn't have here. For instance, a disco ball or an espresso machine. I gotta have one of those. I'll click Add, and Folio will produce four separate line items for me. When I found the item that I want here, I'll click the Edit via Web Clipper icon. This tells Folio that this is the next item that I want to edit in the Web Clipper. Here, I have a kitchen sink that I want inside of my master kitchen. So I'll activate the Web Clipper by clicking the icon in the top right hand corner. Folio knows where the item is, and now all I have to do is start adding information from the page into my project. I can do that by clicking the field I want to fill out, and then the item that I want inside of that field. So here I'm going to click product name, and Folio will give me a blue outline of the text that's going to move into that space. All I have to do is click once, and Folio moves the text inside of that blue outline into the web clipper. I can do the same thing with finish and price. The blue line is super important because it tells me exactly what I'm moving into Folio. So I don't make the mistake of missing a digit when I'm grabbing the price or feeling frustrated highlighting just the area I want to move into my spreadsheet. I can grab text. I can also grab images. I'll click images here and then I'll click the image on the page. Folio will download a full resolution version of that image so that my presentations are crisp. I can also grab as many images as I need. Folio doesn't put a cap on the amount of information you pull into the page. So when it comes time for you to present to your client, you have a bunch of options to show your concept in the clearest light possible. Most websites make it easy for you to grab images off their page, but every once in a while you run into a page that's a little finicky. In those places, you can click screenshot and you can grab a photo of the web page. I'll click here, and I'm gonna grab a photo of all of these finishes. We can grab text, we can grab images, and we can also grab installation documents and PDFs that we wanna pass off to our contractors or have accessible to us in the cloud. I'll click Docs, and I'll click the hyperlink, and Folio will download the document directly into the Web Clipper. I can also do this with CAD files that I find on the page. Just click Docs and the file, and Folio will download the file and maintain all the labels for you. For now, we'll hit Submit. We'll go to our dashboard, and we'll see all of our information right where we need it.
including those documents and those CAD files and our hyperlink saved for us. So if we ever need to go back and add a few more details that we missed out, we can always find it. Now, you don't always have to create your punch list first. You can always add a totally new line straight from the web clipper into your project. So what we're gonna do next is add a totally new line into this folder. Here, we found a piece that I'm gonna move directly into my project without editing a line. All I have to do is pick the project, pick the schedule I wanna work in, then where I wanna put this item. I'm gonna put this in my third floor master kitchen. I'll move over the information just like before. And hit submit. Folio will show me a totally new item and a brand new line straight from the web. Now, I did a pretty quick job of adding this item into my project. And I know I missed out on a few things from the web page that I still want to put into my sheet. All I have to do is click the Edit via Web Clipper icon here, and Folio will take me to the web page and open up the web clipper with all of the information that I already have inside of my project. I can go through the page and add anything I missed, like these installation documents, and warranties, and specification sheets. I'll hit Submit. And I'll see the item updated right inside of Folio. Now, every item that you move into Folio doesn't have to go into a project. We provide a project called General Bookmarks. Now, this is a great place to put items that you know you want to use in the future, but don't quite have a home yet. Let's really quickly move in an item straight from build.com. Now, this chandelier, I don't have a project for yet, but I want to put in general bookmarks so that I can find it in my library and put into presentations for future client meetings. I'll activate the web clipper. I'll put it in my lighting schedule and I'll put it in general bookmarks. I'll add all the information that I need. and I'll hit submit. I don't always grab all the information I need right at the get-go. I really just need the price and the image and a few other key pieces. Because Folio saves the hyperlink, I'll always be able to find it later. Thanks for checking out this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions at all, click the live help button on the bottom right-hand corner and we'll be happy to help you out one-on-one. -on -one. Until then, happy creating.